On this week's Health and Wellness, Life Coach Megan Gilroy makes almond milk with Christine Lucas of Complete Mind and Body. So what I'd love to do today is show you how to make simple almond milk. It's so easy, you won't even believe how easy it is to make and almond milk. And it's homemade, dairy-free. It's homemade, dairy-free, raw, no preservatives, yep. delicious. And Sounds easy. good. Okay, yeah. so what do we do first? Well, first of all, you want to start with um, a high-speed blender. Any blender will really work if you don't have a high-speed blender, but get yourself one of these if you do, they're great. And uh, we'll begin with two cups of cold water. Um, and then I've soaked a half a cup of almonds uh, in water overnight for about mm, 8 to 12 hours. So we're going to just throw a half a cup of almonds into two cups of water. And this is a date. This is a whole Medijoule date. So this also has been soaked. And you don't need to soak the date that long, but make sure that you take the pit out because that will ruin your blender very quickly. So we're just going yeah, <laughs> to toss the, the date in there. And you can buy the dates at any any health food store, store, any okay. grocery store actually. Yeah. Uh, next, we're gonna make vanilla almond milk because yeah. that's tasty. So we're gonna put about an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's it. Vanilla's pretty strong, and a little pinch of sea salt. Um, I happen to love. Well, that's a big pinch. We'll just put a little bit of that. Mm, and so more. what can we do with this once it's made? We could drink it, could we put it in a recipe? Um, we could put it in a recipe. Uh, I don't really drink almond milk. I, I, drinking milk is sort of a transitional food. If you're used to drinking milk and you move into that, uh, into almond milk for, for drinking, you may find uh, that you want to use it more for if you're going to put it on cereals. Okay. Or in my case with raw foods, it's the base for a lot of cream sauces oh. and things like that, mm -hmm, like an Alfredo sauce. So I'm partial to the Himalayan lay in pink salt it just it's fresh it gives a nice flavor and what the salt is going to do it's going to bring out the flavor of the almond and the vanilla mm -hmm. and that's it that's all that goes in there so we're going to just mix that up okay so next thing what you want to do is this is a, called a nut milk bag, and all it is is a nylon bag. You can get it online if you Google nut milk bag, or you can find it at health food stores. Um, some people even use nut, nylon bags from paint stores, and I'm not going to do that with food, but they're perfectly fine. They've never been used. So what you do is you want to set it right on top of the blender top, and what we're going to do is we're going to, over a nice big bowl, <laughs> is we're going to pour that liquid right into the nut milk bag. So you're just straining out all the little tiny pieces of the almonds? That's right, because okay. we want to have a nice, silky, smooth yeah. almond milk. So you want to feel that? Yeah. So you just want to, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. You just want to squeeze that. Now, one of the things you want to be aware of is uh, it's kind of like milking a cow, but you do <laughs> want to save the life of your nut milk bag. So sometimes if you squeeze up, it's going to save your seams. Yeah. Woo. Oops. <laughs> It's fun in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that does look really creamy and smooth. It is, and it's delicious too. Can you smell bit? that? Mm -hmm. It does smell good. So you want to get all of the liquid out of there. And um, the pulp that's inside of the bag when you're finished, um, you can throw that away or compost it, or some people freeze it and they use it as flour huh. for a raw cake. So we'll just kind of set that aside. Yum. And, um, the next thing is just to take a simple mason jar and any kind of funnel. I actually got this one from a marine supply store because <laughs> it's just the right size. It has a nice wide right. base because you don't want to, oh, we're making a little mess here, but you want to make sure that all of that milk goes right into your jar. There you go. That's amazing how much milk you got out of just that, what was it, a half cup or a Well, a it cup? was two cups of water and then a half cup of, um, the almonds. of almonds, yeah. exactly. And, of course, right. we can have a taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're not into doing shots of almond milk, but <laughs> you could be. <laughs> it's well, the new tequila. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 
Wow, that's really yummy. Fresh and creamy, isn't it? Yeah. And that'll last in the refrigerator for about four days because, there, like I said before, there are no preservatives in it. But it's nice to make it fresh like that. And as you see, it takes no time. Yeah, super simple, very easy. My five-year-old loves almond milk, so I'm gonna have to try it at home. <laughs> so thank you for giving us that demo. And if you want more recipes, you can go to Christine's website, which is completemindandbody.com. And next time we're gonna have another expert on health and wellness. So until then, bottoms up. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.